Ha ha ha! I got you. You were scared, you stupid freaking idiot. It's just a disgusting paper mache skull. No. No, that's wrong. I shouldn't do that. We have a spooky themed video today. Because we're gonna make a house out of a pumpkin lantern. Jack o' lantern. Yes! I love Halloween. I love getting the candy. I don't really go trick or treating anymore, but I just like buy candy and then I eat it. When you get to a certain age, there's no trick or treating. Not anymore. <laughs> Not for me. I'm sorry. Ugh! What? Even though I want to, it's socially unacceptable for me to dress up. Like, they'll know. They're like, you're, you're 20 years old? No, you can't do this. No. Well, you know what? Fine. I might as well look the part. Since I'm all grown up now, and I can't participate, got a real job, and a bowler hat. This is not a good look for me. My headphones don't even fit on my head! Oh my god, the Golden Bray Bridge, the baby. The Broben Bray Bridge. Oh, I forgot how beautiful this was. Aw, oh, this is sick, dude. I'm so glad I made this. It took me forever. But you know what? Worth every second. All right, so over here is a pretty spooky area compared to over here. This is like the main town. They're renovating this area of the town. This is spooky, mostly because it's a completely destroyed village. So we're going to make our jack-o'-lantern house over here. All right, I don't know how long I'm going to have to sport this freaking hat. That's it! Halloween's canceled! <laughs> Halloween's back on because I found a new costume! I think that, yeah, that, this suits the skull. Yeah. Can I put him back here? You'd be like my mascot, guys. My Halloween mascot. Perfect. Don't fall. We're gonna see how long we can keep him there. In his beautiful nature. I've never tried to carve out a pumpkin in Minecraft. I've done it in real life and it's a little messy. Hopefully it's a little bit less messy in Minecraft. And hey, it works. Oh, wow. I think we should have the door in the side of him so we can still see how spooky he is. Can we have like a, a glowing one? <gasps> oh, does this actually glow? I forget. Oh, yeah, dude. This is so much cooler. What do you think? <laughs> Gotta smack all these holes in my pumpkin. Pretty similar to normal pumpkin carving. I want to know in the comments, what is your favorite pumpkin carving story? I know everyone everyone has one, like literally everybody except for me. Because no one wanted to carve with me. That's a lie. I just haven't done it in a few years. Perfect wall. We will reconstruct the pumpkin from the ground up. What should we make the bottom of the pumpkin? My idea, we can just do this. Boom. New pumpkin, new me. I like this already. Much like glowstone, uh, this jack-o'-lantern produces light, so we won't really have to do a whole lot for interior lighting, which is good for me. Wait a minute, what? Uh, <laughs> you can see the face from the inside and the outside, but they'll never actually... Uh... Hello? Oh, he fell. Ooh, that already looks interesting. I know we could we could use the normal block house design. What if we did this? What if we just took like a chunk and we made like a pyramid of sorts at the top? I don't know why, this just seems right. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this one manually. It's a little bit more like a pumpkin, like a real pumpkin. You know how they, they get round at the top? You guys ever see that? Y'all ever see that? Whoa, am I a visco girl? What's going on here? What have I done? Ow, this kind of hurts. That's it. We're done. We're done. No viscos here. No. In my brain, I, I see that netherrack is the pathway leading into the house. I don't know why. It just feels right. Like a blood trail almost. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if we can light this on fire. I've tried to light blocks that are smaller than normal blocks on fire, but it's never really worked. So I don't think it will, but like this one, it'll it'll light fine. This one, I don't know. It's, it's just mad weird dog. I don't get it. This pumpkin, nope, won't let me do it. Literally impossible. Okay, well, the inside of this house is looking freaking awesome. I think we should have the window just because I want to see outside. I just want to get a nice good view of that burnt village behind my house. It's spooky season, so there it is. Perfect. Maybe we could have some artificial fire in the distance just to, like, have a good sense of the destruction that was once over here. Perfect. Yes, that's exactly what I want to see. I want to be in my bed just seeing a burning house. It's good. It makes sense to me. Oh, yes, dude. Last episode, we built this beautiful bed house. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. It was awesome. We got the dimensions right in everything. Uh, but now I'm just going to come in. I'm going to steal some stuff. I need another glove. I also figured out I can have more than one glove. I mean, I should have thought of that sooner, but I didn't until last episode. So I'm going to head in here and I'm going to make a little bed. I'm going to actually make it right this time because every freaking time I make it, I make it wrong. Oh, yeah. This is the first time I ever made it right. Oh, my God. Oh, it's been a long time coming, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Oh, now that that's over, I can die happy. Thank God. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I've, I've just had this, this crazy thought. What if the eyes 
of the jack-o'-lantern was the windows. What if it was truly a carved pumpkin? Are you guys seeing this? Screw this window. We're going back to the drawing board, baby, because I think I just had a legendary idea. We'll just cut out the parts of the pumpkin that's supposed to be hollow, which are these parts, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Because it was supposed to be light. Yo! And look at that. It almost looks normal. If you go 100 blocks back, you can tell that it's normal. <laughs> Oh, yes, and I can sleep at night and look out and make sure there's no ghouls. Oh, we got we got to set the atmosphere correctly. Oh, yes. This is such an open house. It reminds me of the glass block house. I feel like there's no protection. I would say this house has the most protection. The house inside of a chest, inside of a crafting table, inside of a whatever up here. <laughs> oh, you know what? I just had a great idea. I'm going to take... I'm gonna take these and we're gonna, we're gonna make some little lights at the top just to light the bridge. We don't want it to be that scary. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Look at this, dude. This mod is amazing. <laughs> I've never seemed to be amazed. I mean, I am always amazed. I never seem to not be amazed. It's so beautiful. Oh, I grew. <laughs> Just to put it into perspective how small this bridge actually is. Whoa, I fell. Oh God, this town is just turning out to be my dream town. Oh my God, I've also just realized that there's absolutely no lights in the bed house. How did I forget this? We'll just put some lights on the each side of the bookshelf or something. Where is this zombie noise coming from, bro? Is it in here? Oh yeah, dude. Why? I didn't even know about this cave, dog. Yo, I'm about to put little blocks everywhere just so I can see. Whoa, you guys didn't invite me to this party. Creepers don't make that much sound, so I'm just gonna kill all the zombies. Hey, it worked. I'm glad that it worked. Good job. All right, over here, I have set up all these different colored walls because I'm going to make this house a candy house. Well, I mean, it's going to have candy at it because it's a spooky house. I mean, that's what you go to on Halloween. You get some, I don't know, you get candy, whatever. I'm trying to do something nice. I'm trying to give candy to the, the, the boys and girls of this miniature city. It's just, it's going to be me. It's, this is the only place I can trick or treat in the entire world. All right, don't judge me yet, but check it out. Wow, I'm an artist. Yes. That's pretty good. We should probably make this like 3D candy. I mean, cause we can, you know, <laughs> this is so cool. Look at that. My God, <laughs> that looks so freaking awesome. All right, I'm gonna make some more of these. What other types of candy is there? Candy bar. All right, say that this candy bar had like a blue wrapper. These are hypothetical candies. The wrappers peeled back on this candy, this specific candy. And from beyond, there is chocolate. Kind of looks like, <laughs> kind of looks like the chocolate bar is melting. I want to make it so there's like a bite taken out of it. That, that's real satisfying. Look at that. That's awesome. Chocolate bar. Complete. These are the only two types of candy that exist, to my knowledge. Oh yeah, this is gonna give me some inspiration. This puts me in the Halloween spirit. I've never seen any candy that looks like that in my life. Oh my God, what? Lego gummies. Oh, they're jello. That's still pretty cool. I think that's gnarly. What is this? Is this every state's most popular Halloween candy? What's mass, dude? I gotta see what my, my number one state is. Massachusetts, baby, where are we at? Are you serious? Snickers? Dude, I hate Snickers. No! M&Ms are taking over the entire planet. Really, California? Really, Kit Kat? I agree, I, I kinda like Kit Kats. Red Hots? What state is this? Burn this state. This is where all the old people live, I can tell. Hot tamales. Yeah, the kids love those hot tamales. And all the flyover states where all the boomers are. <laughs> no offense if you live in these states. I mean, I just, I don't like hot things. That's my thing, personally. Wyoming got sweet tarts, baby. Yeah, okay, this is not helping me decide what candy to make. Oh wait, a classic Halloween candy right here. I could make that. All I need is yellow, orange, and white. <laughs> this is gonna be huge. <laughs> this is gonna be the biggest piece of candy ever. These things honestly make me kind of ill, just like looking at them. No offense to anyone who actually likes them, uh, because they're not terrible. I've had them before. They're just not my favorite. I'm gonna make the colors fade too, if I can. Here we go. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but we'll find out. Yes. Wait a minute. Hold on. What, I'm stupid or something. I put white. It's supposed to be yellow. Oh my God. I'm so dumb. Dude. I completely forgot the order of them. I was like, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. Don't even listen to me. Y'all probably screaming. Oh yeah. This is going to look so much better with the blend here. I'm just going to do this before I fill the rest in. Oh yeah. This is going to look so much better. All right. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> and let's just shave off some from the side. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to go higher. And we're going to shave a little bit more off. Oh! Uh-oh. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gonna go up one. And then... Boom, baby! Does that look the same? I'd say... I would say... Yeah, that looks... 
it's pretty good. They're pretty even though with the color distribution. Definitely orange could be higher up. Maybe if I just get rid of the blend, it's probably my fault. I shouldn't have done that. And honestly, I could take one more layer out and replace it with orange. I think that'll be the perfect classic Halloween candy that everyone hates. There we go. Good. I'm sorry if this is your favorite candy. I'm kind of crapping on it right now. It's beautiful. Mwah. Mwah. So when you come to the jack-o-lantern, you're gonna you're gonna get twisty uh candy, chocolate candy, and the other one, the creamy one. What is it even called? Candy corn. Oh my god, has it, how long has it been since I've been a child? We gotta have functionality in this beautiful new house. And right here, this will be the chest. Perfect. That's it, baby. There it is! The house of candy and spooks. I think this is awesome. I like the additional candy outside. It really fits the Halloween theme. I think there might be one more thing I can add. What if I add Halloween mask? Stick with the theme. We gotta get all our bases covered for Halloween. Candy, pumpkins, costumes, aka masks. The most iconic Halloween mask is the Jason mask. Everyone knows this guy. This guy with his eyes. Yeah, let's try to make this. Oh my God, what happened? What's happening? Dude, whoa, 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 what? Did this tree get struck by lightning or something? It definitely didn't come from over here. What the heck, dude, come, what? come on. I was halfway through building the, the, the shape, which is coming out pretty good, I might say for myself. I just looked to my right and the, the tree is just on fire. Like what is happening in this world? I, I just gotta take down the whole tree now. Look what you made me do. You give a tree an inch, he sets himself on fire. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. I just wanted to make Jason mask and uh, go on with my day peacefully. All right, so, all right, so the eyes are gonna be pretty easy. Sick eye holes, all right? Oh God, ooh. And then there's like a bunch of holes in his mask, of course, because he is the Jason. That's what he does. It's just so he can breathe through the holes. Ooh, I messed that up terribly. How did I do that? Oh, I see. I did put it right here instead. I'm just gonna put like one more layer on the outside. I think it looks weird when the, the holes touch. There you go. Okay, I, I can see one more where I can fit. It might look a little bit better. That's pretty good. I gotta find more places though for these holes. Right there. I had to make it a little bit wider. <laughs> I gotta give myself some like little room and now his head's like fat. I don't know if I'm doing this right. We can't go back now. I also, wait, hold on. I also need red. I gotta fit a red arrow up here. Here, how about this? Why doesn't this look right? Okay, that looks that looks a little bit better. We, I can get behind that. Here, take off these sides. Sick. Okay, now I think all we need is this. And there we have it, the Jason mask. Kinda looks like he's crying blood. The classic strap. Every mask has a strap in the back. Make sure that doesn't fall off your head. And Jason should be no different. He should be just as safe as the other kids. And voila, the mask is complete. Why can't I ever make it line up correctly? There it is. That's the ticket right there, baby. All right, so honestly, we should just cut out the holes. A mask, you have to actually see through it. I, I, that just came to my mind. But I think that that looks perfect. Here it is, the spirit of Halloween, all in one little area. Yeah, this is, Definitely the most themed house I've made. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not complaining. I like every second of it. Yo, what if we do this? Hold on, hold on. Before we do anything else, we can make the stump or whatever you call this part of the pumpkin come out. It's a 3D pumpkin, which uh, you don't see very often in Minecraft. Looks kind of odd from the side, but uh, at an angle, whew. All right, that's just about all the time we have. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other suggestions on what tiny house I should make, please leave it in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later!